Madal Zuna, number one. Genuine question. If Hamas is justified in October 7th, then would Ukraine be justified for March 22nd? No. Um, for March 22nd, you mean uh, 2014 for the coup? Or, oh, no, you mean the... Poof, no, dude, what are you talking about? You're talking about... You're talking about in uh, in the stadium for the no. There's a huge difference between here and here. Here, had did Russia have Ukraine under sanctions and blockade for 15 years? No. Right. Russia was transporting energy through pipelines to to Europe. Israel had blockaded all of Gaza. Nothing going in. Nothing going out without the approval of Israelis you had to go through fences to go through they calculated how much calories a person needs to be able to eat to, to be able to survive they control the amount of calories going inside Gaza okay they were sniping medics before before October 7th they were sniping medics doctors journalists they tried to do change through peaceful means Israel killed them. Russia was doing trade with Ukraine. What, what, what are you guys talking about? What are you guys talking about? For 15 years on a blockade. Aside from that, 70, 80 years of taking their land away and brutalizing them. For anyone, anyone, like gang, anyone that is supporting a genocide that Israel is committing, I have one question for you. I have one question for you. If you are not an Israeli Zionist or an Israeli, let's say, okay, have you ever sat down and talked to hardcore Zionists? Have you ever sat down and talked to former Mossad agents, former IDF agents, former Zionists? I have. They're fucking fanatical mass. They consider Palestinians to be less than dogs. They consider anyone that is not a Zionist to be expendable. They don't care about your life. I've sat down and talked to them. I have yet to meet one that believes everybody should have the same equal rights in anywhere, let alone in the land of the promised land. Like, really? It, gang, it, look at yourself in the mirror and go, Am I supporting genocide? Am I super supporting mass murder? Then honestly answer that question. If the answer is yes, then if you don't like it, change your stance. If you're okay with that, then so be it. You're a mass murdering genocidal maniac. That's fine if you're okay with that. We'll go with the Buddhist philosophy. You're allowed to be whatever you want to be, right? If the answer is no, you don't want to support genocide, then the only choice left to you is, is to oppose this genocide. Like, this is one of those things. There's no gray area here. Oh, I'm neither for genocide or against genocide. I'm, I'm standing on the sidelines. I, I don't care. Well, fuck what is that saying? Uh, if you want to let monsters run amok, uh, all all that has to, I paraphrase all that has to happen for monsters to to run amok is uh, for good people to do nothing or something like this. 